Ivy hatches a plan. Bean opened her eyes. They were in a corner of Ivy's backyard. There was a big rock on one side and a small tree on the other. Between them was a perfectly round puddle. This is the secret spot, asked Bean. She had expected something more secret looking, like a cave. Yes, they'll never find you here, said Ivy. You can stay for as long as you want. I'll bring you food. But I only need to stay until dinner time, Bean said. Ivy looked disappointed. I thought you wanted to run away. I do, but only till dinner. Oh. Bean felt bad about not staying. Wouldn't you get in trouble if your parents found out I was living here? She asked. They don't come out here much, Ivy said. My mom is afraid of ticks. You probably don't ever get in trouble anyway, said Bean, feeling glum. I'm always in trouble. I do too get in trouble, said Ivy. No, you don't, Bean said. You read books all the time. You can't get in trouble for reading books. Ivy said, I will get in trouble, really huge trouble, if I do what I want to do, what I plan to do. Bean waited. Well, what do you plan to do? Ivy looked all around before she whispered, spells, magic, potions. Really? You mean like a witch? Yes. Well, not yet. But I'm going to be a witch, said Ivy. Her eyes were glowing. I'm learning how. Bean looked at Ivy's black bathrobe. It was kind of dirty now, and some of the little pieces of paper had fallen off. Bean saw that the papers were cut into star and moon shapes. Bean also saw that Ivy didn't know how to draw stars. Some of them had four points, and some only had three. The moons didn't look so good either. Is that a witch's robe? She asked. Yeah, said Ivy. Did you make it yourself? Asked Bean. Yeah. It's nice, said Bean politely. It didn't look like a witch's robe. It looked goofy. I didn't know you could learn to be a witch. I thought you just had to be one. That's what most people think, said Ivy. But I'm learning. I probably know more than most born witches my age. I just learned this spell that makes you invisible. Wow! Bean could use that for sure. Will you teach me? That will be great. I haven't done it yet, Ivy admitted. You've got to have a dead frog. Oh. It would be really mean to kill a frog. Yeah. That's why I dug this pond. Ivy pointed to the puddle with her gold stick. I'm hoping a frog will come here and die. Bean didn't mention that it looked like a puddle. Wow, she said. What's the stick for? That's my wand, said Ivy. Bean couldn't help it. She burst out laughing. That's not a wand. That's just a stick painted gold. It is too a wand. Now Ivy looked mad. And you better watch out or I'll use it on you. Bean stopped laughing. Use it how? I'll cast the dancing spell on you. You won't be able to stop dancing for the rest of your life. Like this. She started jumping up and down, kicking out her legs and waggling her arms. Could you really? Asked Bean. Ivy stopped dancing. Maybe. I was just going to test it when you started yelling about being a ghost. Who were you going to test it on? Asked Bean. 
Ivy's face turned red. Nobody, she said. Bean could tell she was lying. Come on, who? Ivy's face got redder. Come on, tell me, said Bean. Ivy looked at the dirt. You, she said in a low voice. Me, yelped Bean. What did I ever do to you? I'm sorry, said Ivy. She did look sorry. That's okay, said Bean. There was a pause. My mother keeps on saying what a nice girl you are, Ivy said. She's always telling me I should play with you. It's driving me nuts. Bean couldn't believe it. That's what my mother says about you. That's so funny. But you're not nice at all. You're a witch. Ivy giggled. You're not very nice either. You were doing that ghost thing in the bush. Bean was embarrassed. The part about the icy fingers was good, said Ivy. What were you doing in there anyway? Bean sat down on the rock. I was waiting for Nancy. That's my sister. She's a total pain in the kazoo. I put $20 on a string, and I was going to pull it out of her hand when she reached down to pick it up. Ivy nodded. Is that why she got mad at you? No. She got mad at me because it was her $20. Bean felt glum again. Ivy saw that Bean was worrying. Are you going to be in trouble? Yeah, probably. I'm not supposed to mess with her money. Bean thought. You don't have a going back in time spell, do you? No, those are hard, said Ivy. She looked at her pond. I wish I had a dead frog. That would be good, said Bean. But wait a second. What about the dancing spell? Could you put it on Nancy? So she'll dance for the rest of her life? How is that going to get you out of trouble? Ivy asked. It's not, said Bean, but it would be really funny.